tutorial will cover how to title layers in your custom maps using My Maps, how to add labels, and embed your map on a Google site. So it's important to be able to find your custom maps that you made in My Maps. So I just Googled My Maps, and you can also go to www.google.com forward slash maps, and that will take you to um, your creations. Uh, if you're signed into your account, you can open a map. Click open a map to find the map that you've been working on. Now it's going to load all of your maps and you can select the one that you want to edit. Now, you, uh, assuming that people have already been adding to your collaborative map, or if you do this ahead of time, either way that works, I want to show you just a couple of things, a couple of details that you can be um, doing to make your map complete and ready to, to share. So the first thing is, if you notice over here, uh, that I've been working in an untitled layer. So it's, uh, and I can see this is the map that we're working on. I can click on it and here was uh, the first addition to the map. We put down um, a location. And what I wanted to do with this layer is this, uh, we need to title this. And so I'm going to click on untitled layer in order to title it. And I'm going to put this layer is historic landmarks and buildings and I'll save that. Now what I can do is add more layers such as um, uh, best places to eat in Pleasanton or maybe um, schools in Pleasanton or another one that I'll be making a tutorial for next is uh, best places to play in Pleasanton. Um, that could be playing for any age. Alright so we've titled our layer. Uh, if I wanted to take this layer off I could just click the check and you'll notice the um, one piece I had for this layer is missing, but the title is still there. So if I wanted this layer to show, I can just click the box and the layer shows up again. Now I can add some labels if I want. So on my place marker, if I wanted to add a label, I can click uh, to customize this. Right now it's no labels, but I could put the name um, right here and uh, what the label is right there. So it would show up on the map. All depends on what you want your map to look like. Another feature that um, is good to uh, pay attention to um, is to be able to post or to embed this map on your own Google site. So if you click on the file up here in this um, box, you can um, scroll to embed on my site. Oh, and you have to remember, if it's not made public, you cannot embed it. So click on the share settings on the top right. Now I had made this um, so that anyone who has a link can edit. Now that I'm done with it, um, that people have already put in their um, uh, places, I'm going to make it can view, but I'm going to make it public on the web. I don't want people, anyone, to just go in and edit my map. So I'm going to say done. Now if I go back in and click on the file, embed on my site, it will now give me an embed code. So all I have to do is copy this embed code and go to my, maybe if I'm creating a Google site, I can add this map directly into that site. You can always go back in and edit any pieces or titles that you wanted to um, and double check that you know it, the settings are exactly how you like it. 